Hello everyone and today's topic gonna be uh, Python and Python uh, with Oracle database so this is a, a, a logic which are going to achieve today so basically I don't have any idea about Python how what is the the basics of Python and how uh, the Python will work so I got a uh, requirements to read the CSV file and put it in Oracle database so I just I'm I just tried so it took around two days for me to complete the entire stuff I don't want you guys to spend the entire two days to complete this task this particular task only belongs to how to read a CSV file through Python and store the uh, information into our Oracle database it's a combination of three instances first instance my CSV and my second instance will be my Python language and third will be my Oracle DB okay let's start with that so the first thing you need to install python and second thing you need to have a ide since python is a case sensitive you need to maintain the f you need to maintain that and also like other languages not like other languages we have uh, some different problem here so here even the even a single space it will cause a compilation issue so the intended spaces it will be in a proper way in a proper order okay you cannot give some random spaces because in other language you can give spaces it's not a problem because within the braces the uh, the compiler it will identify okay this is an empty space it that will ignore it but python you need to make sure the intended spaces are proper way so first thing download python go to google and Python download and there you will get a link download Python here it will show up all the versions which is available in the Python repository and you can download whichever version you want and also one important thing is if you are running into 32 bit make sure you downloaded the 32 bit uh, exe file and if it is 64 bit make sure you downloaded the 64 bit version okay I am running into 64 bit version so I downloaded 64 and another thing is that is not enough you need to have an IDE there are multiple IDEs which is supporting Python you don't have to worry about the spaces when you press enter it automatically intend the space and it will go to the next line I'm going to show you that okay so next thing the IDE which I'm going to use is Komodo Komodo IDE for Python okay so there will be a the first link just click the link and here it will take you to okay not this one okay activate state okay let's go for this one yeah I download it from here only yeah you can directly download and install it okay so and the ID is looks like this is my commode ID this is my commode ID okay so I'm going to open it so what is it yeah so this is my sample file which I created called commodity test.py or else you can create a new file and you can name it whatever you want okay so I don't know any syntax about the Python I randomly searched the internet to find out how to read the CSV file and how to interact with the Oracle database using Python and how to manipulate the data from the CSV to Python and Python to Oracle DB. So I already took the example. I am I kept it in my Notepad plus plus, and this is my program. I just copied it and I pasted it here. I'll I'll tell you. Uh, this is a simple thing. Okay, here for row in read CSV. If you put enter, it automatically intend the space. So, but if you are doing it Notepad, you have to keep the space manually okay so uh, try to use some IDE which is supporting Python so it will be easy for you to develop the things whatever you want and it is you can easily understand so this is the way it will intend the space and what is the basics for that okay so this is my program here the input CSV input CSV is, is for enabling the CSV functionality so CSV functionality which is has the capability to read the CSV file 
and so here we are going to use Oracle database. So you need to import CX Oracle. It it won't directly come with your package. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. After installing Python, you have to install it manually. Once the Python is installed, so you need to check. You need to make sure whether it is working fine. Okay. So what you can do is go to command prompt and type Python version. So if you are getting some proper response, that means the Python is up and running in my machine. Okay. Let's go. So what you have to do is, and I can show you. I I, I created a post for this, so you can go to my blog, and you can see what are the things you need to do to install the drivers for Oracle. So we called it as a Oracle Insta client. So here, what you can do is you need to mention Oracle. Sorry, it's instant client. It will bring you to Oracle.com. So go to there. Okay. So this is the list of instances which is available in the oracle.com so i downloaded the install client for microsoft windows 64 bit since i'm running into 64 bit so i downloaded it to here it is there in my software folder here this is my folder okay so another thing is when my program is ready i can start executing it now since you're running trying to con interact with the oracle database so the Oracle Insta client has to be point has to be mentioned in the environment variable. So go to environment variable. Go to environment variable. And go to path. So if you see the last thing. Let me put it in a notepad and uh, I'll expand it for guys. Okay. So this is my last instance. So Insta client basics x64 12.1.0 instant client 12 underscore 1. So I mentioned my Insta client in my environment variable. So when it is running in the command prompt, it will read the supportivity from the particular folder. Okay. So another thing I as I mentioned, since we are using yes, uh, CX Oracle, I mean we need Oracle drivers there, so you need to install it manually. How you can achieve it? So let me, I, I have written a blog for that, just go to my blog, I, I'll, I'll update the link in the video or in my comments. So here if you come down, yeah. So this is the script which you need to execute in command prompt. Go to your command prompt and paste this and enter. It will download all the packages from internet. You don't have to download some exe and map it. It automatically downloads the drivers and put it in a proper folders. Okay. It's done. So Python setup is done. My Oracle drivers are uploaded properly and also my environment setup is done. Okay. So then I'm going to explain. So what I'm going to achieve here in my desktop folder, I have a folder called Python here. I have a file called file ID and dot CSV. Let's open this file. So here I can see a lot of data here. I have 40 records here. Uh, it's the same drive that's fine. So I don't want to insert the first record since it's header information so I'm going to so since I have 40 records here including my tire header so around it is 39 records so when I after executing the program all 39 records has to be migrated into my database okay so this is my DB my table called feed file so nothing is here now because I don't have any data information so I'm going to execute the program now Okay, so put your program folder. So th the my program is placed in 
my desktop so let me open the folder this is my desktop folder and this is my python folder directory so here i have my program so just right click open comment window here so it will directly go to the command mode with the particular location so check the files i am going to run the commodore test.py so that's running syntax is python space commodore test.py okay mm, okay and the reason it's printing i just printed the row number there in the program so because of uh, yeah this one the sequence value that is the primary key for the table okay so my program got executed i don't have any exceptions or nothing in my program so let's go to the database and see you have you you have all the records here you need to make sure whether all my 39 records are placed here yeah all my 39 records are here so this is the way you need to achieve this functionality i i understand it is a bit when you are trying at the first time I can help you guys just try it yourself and let me know if you have any clarification or you want your struggle somewhere just uh, let me know or leave a comment so I can respond to you guys okay thank you subscribe to the channel